Let's say you own a popular brand and have a registered trademark. Obviously, you have the exclusive right to own and use it for yourself. But consider this. If I request you to let me use your trademark for the promotion of my goods and services, since your mark is so well known and popular in the market, and I offer a good monetary compensation for it, then what would you do? Well, what you would do is totally up to you. But what options you have, we will be discussing at length in this video. Let me first introduce myself. Hi, I am Tushar Bakshi, a startup advisor at Set India Biz, where we provide tax, compliance, and IPR services to businesses in India. And in this video, I will explain the concept of trademark licensing and how it helps trademark owners to distribute the usership of their make in return for a decent monetary compensation. So let us begin without any delay. What is trademark licensing in India? Trademark licensing is a popular practice by which trademark owners allow other entities to use their trademark in connection to specific goods or services, while the user only receives the right to usership of the mark in exchange for some kind of monetary compensation. The owner will retain his exclusive rights to ownership. Trademark licensing can be beneficial for both the user and the owner of the mark. While the user can enhance the credibility and consumer base of his business by using a well-known and established trademark, the owner on the other hand can generate additional revenues and potentially expand the reach of his business brand to new consumers. However, it is important to note that trademark licensing involves complex legal procedures and a complete knowledge of such procedures is absolutely necessary before you get involved into it. We will discuss these procedures later in this video. For now, let me explain what laws say about trademark licensing in India. What are legal provisions related to trademark licensing? Trademark licensing is legally permitted under Section 49 of the Trademark Act 1999. According to this section, a registered trademark owner can grant a license to another entity for using their trademark in connection to specific goods and services. But for this, the two parties will have to sign a written licensing agreement. The agreement would include details like the period for which the license is granted, the territorial limits where the license will be valid, quality control measures to ensure that the products or services for which the licensed trademark is being used meet the standards of the trademark's owner and the amount of royalty or compensation paid to the trademark owner in exchange for the license. But merely signing the agreement is not enough. You will have to register the agreement to the concerned trademark authorities. Trademark License Registration Process Once the licensing agreement is signed between both the parties, it will have to be registered with the appropriate authority. For this, the trademark owner must file an application to the Jurisdictional Trademark Registrar. The application must include a copy of the license agreement and the details of the trademark's registration. Once the application is approved, the trademark license will be recorded in the concerned trademark registry. Now, you have a signed trademark license agreement which has been registered with the trademark registrar. But what if you wish to cancel the agreement altogether? Well, even that is possible. Let me explain how. Cancellation of trademark license. If a trademark owner wishes to cancel a trademark license or revoke the usership rights given to a registered user, he must file a petition with the trademark registrar. The petition must include the grounds for cancellation, such as the failure of the licensed entity to comply with quality control measures or the expiration of the license agreement itself. Once the petition is approved, the trademark license will be cancelled by the registrar and the registered user will no longer have the rights to use the concerned trademark. And that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions. I will try to respond back as soon as possible. For further guidance on trademark licensing, you can visit our Wikipedia page or contact our expert advisors. The links and contact details are given in the description box. And if you found this video helpful, like and share the video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to our channel for more informative content ahead. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching and watch our other videos as well.